Tires, who doesn't love tires? What a good invention, we do need them. They're round, they're rubbery. And unlike me, they like pressure. There you go, see what I did there. Right, so we are gonna talk about the Tesla tire pressures, because even though it's electric, it still has round wheels, rubber, air, and all that stuff. We have got an error message on the dash telling me the tire pressures are wrong. Um, we are gonna go through the menus. We're gonna show you how to see what the tire pressures are how to fill them up, how the system works. And we're gonna see if Elon needs to go back to school to do his maths, aren't we, Tyler? Yeah, yeah I think there's some dodgy maths going on, but we're just having a bit of fun. Right, let's get in the car, have a look at my problems, and then we'll, yeah, not all my problems, just the tire problems. Come on, let's jump in. You join us inside our car, and look, I'm greeted with this little message here. This is the orange thing there. That is our tire pressure warning thing. And accompanying with that, you'll probably get a little triangle up here, or you should get a little triangle here where it says warning. So we can click on that, and it's good, this. So it says the air pressure is below recommended. Now, what's really cool on the Tesla is the owner's manual is embedded into this screen. So we can click this, right, and it gives it a little bit of a second, and it looks it up on the owner's manual for it. So it goes on to say, so it says, there you go, the air pressure is below recommended. So so it goes on to tell us and it goes on and there's a couple of things here so it says that your tires one of one or more of your tires is at least 20 percent lower than the recommended cold tire pressures and it said the recommended pressure is shown on a label now this is a bit annoying i would like it to tell me here what the, the tire pressures are because clearly it knows because it's given me an error and it's saying it's it's at least 20 percent lower than what it should be it would be nice if it told me now um so let's have a look where do you find out the information so it goes on to say that the tire pressures for more information see cards under the, it's displayed in a card now i've got no idea what a card is because i'm not I don't drive this one much, do I, Tyler? No. Um, so the card is a secret menu that's hidden in this area here of the screen. And if I swipe it one way, whoosh, we get some sort of trip mileage and my, my efficiency. Right? If I swipe it this way, it comes up and tells me my PSI. Now, you'll notice it doesn't tell me my PSI. And that's because you've got to drive the car a little bit for the tyre pressure monitoring system to come alive and wake up. So we will take that, but let's look at the label first. So let's have a look where the label is. So on your car, on the passenger door, there will be a label. Okay, so the tire pressure label is here on your passenger door. And if we zoom in on that, and what I'll do is I'll take a picture and put it sideways. I'll take a picture, otherwise you're gonna be confused. But what we've got here is it tells us what the front and rear tire pressures are in kilopascals and pounds per square inch. So it's telling me the front should be at 42 and the rear should be at 42. So remember 42, because we're gonna do some maths in a minute, aren't we? Because it should be 20%, at least 20% below 42, which should be 8.4 lower than that, which is around 34. So let's go for a drive and see, see if the Tesla is indeed lower than that. Let's go. Right, we didn't have to drive it far, we literally just reversed it. And here we go, so it's got 38, 38, 37. Now by my reckoning, 38 to the target, 42, it's only four PSI lower than target, which is less than 10% of the 42. So I don't know where the 20% comes from, I think that's an error, but you're not interested in that, that's just me nitpicking. Right, so there we go, so we now know. now. On the Land Rover, the display here shows you not only what it is, it shows you what the target is. And that would be really cool. They've got plenty of room here. I don't know if anyone from Tesla ever listens to this stuff, but it would be good if they could tell you what it should be to stop you having to twist your neck and look at that other label on the door. It would be good to have them here because clearly the car knows. Right, let's go and pump up, pump up the volume, pump up the tires, Tyler. Right here we have the world's most expensive mobile tire compressor our Land Rover Defender and if you take a peek in it's really cool actually so we have got the compressor fitted and we can press this button we've set the target to 42 psi we dive that in oh, I'm not connected. Right, I've got the target set right let's get it put on the wheel take the dust cap off screw this on now, tyres will lose pressure over time. They do do that. Um, if you've got repeatedly, it's going low. Oh, there you go, he's off. So our compressor's going. It's 37. The target's 42. It'll keep going. So what that's 
doing this thing. Now, obviously, as you hit winter months, you will, you will often see the tire pressures warning, like, come on, because as the tires, as the air reduces, gets colder, it will get smaller, and your tire pressures will reduce. But fill them up. Don't say I won't bother because it's cold. Fill them up. Run it, and tire pressures will have an effect on economy. Which, when you're driving your Tesla, you want to be getting those miles per kilowatt out of the car. So make sure you're, and it's also safe as well. Right, let's have a look. Has that got it all there, Tyler? Yeah. He's happy at 42. We'll go round, we'll pump all of them up, and then we'll jump back in the car. Now, the car will not immediately show the increased tyre pressures, I don't think. I think we may have to just drive it a little bit. Um, and some in the manual, it does say you may have to go about 15 miles an hour for it to do. But let's have a look. We'll see what actually happens. Right, let's crack on. Right, we have blown up. We've done 42. Now, Tyler just pointed out that that one, the first one we went to, the car said here it was 37, and our Land Rover Defender compressor also said it was 37. So it looks like they're in, they're, they're in cahoots. They're, they're yeah. definitely agreeing on this. There's no rivalry here. Right, so let's, uh, right, let's reverse a bit, and then we'll go and see what the tire pressures come to. I'm gonna th How quickly do they come up? How quickly do they come up? Yeah. Quickly, can I reverse without crashing, Tyler? Oh, look at that, we've got, we got, we got stuff everywhere. Oh, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash. Oh, we got all but one. Oh, we got one. Oh, we That's got weird. all but one. That is weird. Let me drive forwards a bit. Oh, wait, I'm gonna scratch that. Oh, yeah, is it? It's not having that. It's not having that one. That is weird, isn't it? Sorry, I'll have to go. Oh, yeah, you, you kill that, Tyler. It's weird, it's weird. Oh, it is. There you go, right, so they, there you go, jiggle it backwards and forwards a bit and it will come up. So, there we go, and it's roughly correlated, so we're, we're happy with that. So there we go, now, there is apparently a different warning, so we are now going to purposefully deflate one to something safe, at least just to move it backwards and forwards, so we'll reduce it to like 20 psi, shall we? And apparently it comes up with a different warning, apparently it's going to warn us we've got a really flat tyre, so let's see if that happens. Right. We've deflated the tire. We haven't even driven anywhere, and it's come up with this 21 psi, and it's come up with this air pressure in tires is very low. Pull over. So there are two. Oh gosh, we got all sorts going on. So there are two error messages there, um, and let's have a look. It was, air pressure is very low, and it'll bring up the manual, and it says, yeah, check the fly. The tire is is very flat. Um, so there we go. So that's the different error messages. That is how to inflate your tyres, everything we've worked out on the Tesla and Elon's dodgy maths. So, <laughs> hope, hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>